Hey guys, this is Space Train. Your daily express till the edge of the space. And today we will talk about, can a universe create itself out of nothing? Grab your tickets and let's go. Don't forget to subscribe. To get unlimited pass on our expedition. One of the great theories of modern cosmology is that the universe began in a Big Bang. This is not just an idea but a scientific theory, backed up by numerous lines of evidence. For a start, there is the cosmic microwave background, which is a kind of echo of the Big Bang, then there is the ongoing expansion of the cosmos, which when imagined backwards, hints at a Big Bang type origin, and the abundance of the primordial elements such as helium-4, helium-3, deuterium and so on, can all be calculated using the theory. If you want to see more about the Big Bang, check our old video. You can find link down below. Yes, there is evidence of the Big Bang. But that still leaves a huge puzzle. What caused the Big Bang itself? For many years, cosmologists have relied on the idea that the universe formed spontaneously, that the Big Bang was the result of quantum fluctuations in which the universe came into existence from nothing. That's possible, given what we know about quantum mechanics. But physicists really need more, a mathematical proof to give the idea flesh. Today they get their wish thanks to the work of Dong Shanhe and buddies at the Wuhan Institute of Physics and Mathematics in China. These guys have come up with the first rigorous proof that the Big Bang could indeed have occurred spontaneously because of quantum fluctuations. The new proof is based on a special set of solutions to a mathematical entity known as the wheeler de Win equation. In the first half of the 20th century, cosmologists struggled to combine the two pillars of modern physics, quantum mechanics and general relativity, in a way that reasonably described the universe. As far as they could tell, these theories were entirely at odds with each other. The breakthrough came in the 1960s, when the physicists John Wheeler and Bryce DeWitt combined these previously incompatible ideas in a mathematical framework, now known as the wheeler DeWitt equation. The new work of Don Shan and C.O. explores some new solutions to this equation. At the heart of their thinking is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This allows a small empty space to come into existence probabilistically due to fluctuations in what physicists call the metastable false vacuum. When this happens, there are two possibilities. If this bubble of space does not expand rapidly, it disappears again almost instantly. But if the bubble can expand to a large enough size, then a universe is created in a way that is irreversible. The question is, does the wheeler de witt equation allow this? We prove that once a small true vacuum bubble is created, it has the chance to expand exponentially, says Dong Shan. Their approach is to consider a spherical bubble that is entirely described by its radius. They then derive the equation that describes the rate at which this radius can expand. They then consider three scenarios for the geometry of the bubble, whether closed, open or flat. In each of these cases, they find a solution in which the bubble can expand exponentially and thereby reach a size in which a universe can form, a Big Bang. One of the more absurd facts of the universe is that empty space is never empty. At tiny scales particles are constantly popping in and out of existence, and these so-called virtual particles have a very real influence on the world around us. Using a trick of quantum optics as astonishing as it is weird, Physicists from the University of Konstanz in Germany have found a way to manipulate nothingness by controlling how virtual particles interact with a pulse of light. The obvious answer, nothing, is wrong because it disagrees with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, it decrees there must be fluctuations of energy inside the kettle and these manifest as particles popping in and out of existence. These so-called virtual particles have a real effect on the universe. For instance, the virtual particles cause a ghost-like, but measurable force, called Casimir force, that pushes two mirrors together in a vacuum. And the appearance of virtual particles on the edge of a black hole is what causes Hawking radiation, if it exists. Like dogs snapping at the wheels of a passing car, virtual particles also worry the edges of passing photons. 
This interaction slightly muddles the photon shape, distorting it from a perfect sine wave to something a bit fuzzier. In October 2015, Alfred Leinstorfer and the University of Constance team made one of the first direct detections of virtual particles by mapping out this photon fuzziness. Okay. That means that nothing is something himself. That's really confusing. In Stephen Hawking's book The Grand Design, he says that because of the law of gravity, the universe can and will create itself out of nothing. One of the greatest explanations comes from, theoretical physicist Michio Kaku. He said. In string theory, we have a multiverse of universes. Think of our universe as the surface of a soap bubble, which is expanding. We live on the skin of this bubble. But string theory predicts that there should be other bubbles out there, which can collide with other bubbles or even sprout or bud baby bubbles, as in a bubble bath. But how can an entire universe come out of nothing? This apparently violates the conservation of matter and energy. But there is a simple answer. Matter, of course, has positive energy. But gravity has negative energy. For example, you have to add energy to the Earth in order to tear it away from the Sun. Once separated far from the solar system, the Earth then has zero gravitational energy. But this means that the original solar system had negative energy, if you do the math. You find out that the sum total of matter in the universe can cancel against the sum total of negative gravitational energy, yielding a universe with zero, or close to zero, net matter. So, in some sense, universes are for free. It does not take net matter and energy to create entire universes. In this way, in the bubble bath, bubbles can collide, create baby bubbles, or simple pop into existence from nothing. This gives us a startling picture of the Big Bang, that our universe was born perhaps from the collision of two universes, the Big Splat Theory, or sprouted from a parent universe, or simply popped into existence out of nothing. So universes are being created all the time. But Hawking goes one step farther and says that therefore here is no need of God, since God is not necessary to create the universe. I wouldn't go that far. Before we truly understand the creation of the universe, everyone can have their opinions, no matter it comes from religion or science. So don't forget to comment, your thoughts about, the creation of our world. There are lots of questions left, so don't space out, and leave some space in your brain for answers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, subscribe and click the bell button, to get notifications on our latest videos. If you are still here, grab your knowledge and get out of my train.